What's going on guys? Culprit here and welcome so much to episode 2 of the Battlefield 4 Gunlocker series. This is my series where I give you my opinions and my recommendations on all the Battlefield 4 weapons as I review them for you. Now I want to quickly say I'm not a gun nerd. I'm not a real life gun guy. I know very little about real life guns so please pardon me if I make a little mistake here or there. This is strictly with a focus on FPS games particularly in this account Battlefield 4. Please feel free though to reply in the comments disagreeing with anything I may say. You might feel differently about a weapon than I do and that's kind of the whole point of this series to start a debate, start a discussion, and hopefully have something down in the comments we can all enjoy. How it works, guys. Well, while I'm going to do the Ace-23 today, and in the beginning I'm kind of going to dictate a little bit on how I go about here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prioritize the weapons that I see most often in the comments. So make sure you post in the comments any weapons you want to see me do, and I'm going to get to them as quickly as I can. I'm going to try to do about one or two of these a week, and then it's probably steady out to one a week as we get a little further away from release. But I'm going to prioritize the most requested weapons. So if you have a particular favorite that you want to see my opinion on, make sure you mention it in the comments below. So today we're going to talk about the Ace-23, and some of you might be scratching your head a little bit, wondering why we're doing another assault rifle, and why we're doing one particularly that's so comparable to the first one we did in the M416. Well, the reason's really simple. Um, I was just taking part in the uh, Simthic vs. YouTube event today. I wanted to make sure I had this weapon unlocked. I wanted to make sure I had some familiarity with this weapon, because it was very clear in the first couple days of release that this was going to be a go-to weapon for many people, especially the competitive side of things. So I wanted to see what all the fuss was about and get my hands on it. Now, the Ace-23 certainly is a very good all-around rifle. It's one that everybody kind of should have unlocked. So let's talk about how you unlock this. Uh, basically, what you have to do is first you have to be a minimum of level 10, and then you have to complete the assault expert ribbon or assignment, excuse me, which includes 50 med kit ribbons, which is eight heals per ribbon. You have to get those eight heals in a bunch. You can't kind of carry them over in different rounds. Uh, basically, uh, the best way to go about this is to basically do a quick revive, revive on someone. Do not do a full revive. Drop a med pack at their, on their body, and basically you're gonna get about four heals out of that if he stays on the med pack, and that's the quickest way to. Do do it obviously higher tickets where you can stay in a match longer and things like operation locker or something meat grinder where you can just sit there and just really spam those you know the, the heal kits are really going to help you speed this process up second to that you're going to need 200 kills with the assault rifle just flat out kills probably the easiest one of them to get and then 10 assault rifle ribbons which each ribbon is six kills with an assault rifle again you have to do those in bunches you can't carry them over on different matches so th those two kind of go hand in hand with each other not a very hard assignment to do very straightforward and i like that it encourages you to play the game quote unquote properly no trolling no gimmicky things like we've seen in some assignments now I should note that some of you might know the Ace-23 from previous games it's also been known as the Galil I know it was in like Black Ops and things like that so just a little footnote for you guys wondering where this weapon came from and why we see so many different variations in Battlefield 4 now let's take a look at the pros for the Ace-23 it's very simple this weapon is very comparable to the previous reviewed M416 it is an incredibly versatile weapon jack of all trades so if that's your type of play style where you don't particularly play one style at all times you're switching it up on whatever the situation dictates this is a weapon you should absolutely try this weapon also comes in with a slightly higher fire rate than that of the M416 with 750 versus 7, 770 versus 750 now on paper that doesn't seem like much and it certainly isn't but when you get in the game and you get you feel for it, it, it for me at least it interests me closer to the weapon I use a lot in Battlefield 4, which is the M16A3. It just feels similar, similar, so it feels very comfortable to me, and it just feels right. It, overall, it does have a quicker reload. Nothing wrong with that. The, it's a slightly slower than M416, but it certainly ranks up there on the good end. With that said, let's take a look at the cons for the Ace-23. Basically, just as I said above, it's a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. It's not going to be the go-to weapon for any particular engagement. But you're, as I said above, you're never going to feel outgunned in any situation at the same time. But if you're looking for a specialty weapon, this is not the one for you. It has a slightly slower tactical reload, as I mentioned, than the 416. Still, it's on the good side uh, compared to all the assault rifles, but it is, when you're comparing these two, the 416 to the Ace-23, which you're inevitably going to do, it is slightly slower in attack re reload, but it's still a good reload time. Now, where it really kind of changes the game, it, it has a much longer empty reload. So, if you're the type of guy that likes to run the gun empty and then reload, this may not be the gun for you. You might, want, you might personally favor the 416 better. If you're like me, you reload all the time, you barely ever empty reload it's not that big of an issue and your gameplay and your game style can almost t eliminate that from the equation now recommended usage for the h23 it's basically the same as the 416 any game mode any type of engagement any server population it really doesn't matter what map you're playing on this weapon will perform well it's basically your play style your ability are going to dictate how well this weapon does it will not hold you back it's not exactly going to win you gunfights that you should have lost but it is go never going to leave you hanging it is never going to leave you outgunned in any engagement 
So now let's run down quickly kind of my recommended setup with all the attachments listed. Basically, the first thing, red dot sights. Uh, the beauty of the Ace-23, if you're anything like me, I had about 400 and something kills with the 416 before I magically unlocked the Coyote sight. But with the Ace-23, I think it's 10 kills. Boom, you've got the Coyote sight. In my opinion, the best sight in the game, which absolutely does, I feel, help you, at least initially when you're kind of struggling with the uh, some of the lesser sights in the game. Obviously, red dot sights are where it's at. Personal preference, go for it. Hollow sights can be used, but there again, there's no benefit of any kind of zoom on a hollow scope. But sometimes those little, uh, you know, bigger reticles can help you out, where the red dots might get blurred out, like in light, high light conditions, that kind of thing. You can use a medium range optic. But if that's kind of what you're going for here, perhaps you'd probably be better using a different weapon like the SAR-21, the AK-12, something like that. So just kind of let the situation dictate to you which one you're going to use. And again, it's a matter of personal play, uh, play style. Excuse me. Uh, barrel. I personally uh, prefer the compensator to completely eliminate that horizontal recoil. It doesn't have much, but now all I have to do is focus on kind of counteracting that vertical recoil. It just helps me. It's a matter of personal preference. You guys use whatever you'd like as well. Now, one thing that I probably do actually run most is the suppressor. It works very well with this weapon. I like to use this weapon in more of a run-in gun because it's got the slightly higher fire rate and, and it's pretty good in the hip. So I like to run a suppressor, keep me off the map, move around, flanking people. That is my personal preference. But if I'm not using the suppressor, I'm going with the compensator, at least for now. Um, under barrel, my favorite, again, is the angled folding grip comp, one of those two. Uh, they both do the same thing. It's a matter of aesthetics, basically. Um, f to reduce that first shot recoil and increase my first shot accuracy, um, I've tried the potato and the stubby grip very good alternative and a bit of me thinks that's better on paper so make sure you give that a try as well it just seems like to me across all weapons i do better with the angled foregrip it just helps me out that's just you know maybe i just personally struggle with that first shot recoil but make sure you try the stubby or the angled and give it a shot let me know what you think as far as the accessory goes, again, I mean, basically my recommendation on just about every assault rifle is going to be the laser light combo. Really can't beat it. it sometimes it could be pesky to unlock. Just like I said with the Coyote, it took me about 470 kills on the M416 before I finally got this. Um, great combo. Works very well. Um, aside from that, magnifier is always an option. Uh, but again, if that's kind of the way you're going, again, you might want to consider a different weapon. But again, it's, it's up to the situation and your personal play style. Now let's summarize it up, the Ace-23 is now my go-to weapon in the assault rifle class. That's right, it's just on paper, it's slightly better than the 416. I still love the 416, have good stats with the 416. This one just seems to fit me better, and that's what it comes down to on this one, it's personal preference. The 416 and Ace-23 are very comparable on stats, on paper. It comes down to your personal preference as far as recoil. You know, the recoils are slightly different, the rate of fires are slightly different, these types of things. It's nothing that's going to kind of dictate to you which gun is better, but it's a matter of you to decide. So make sure you try the bows, you try all the attachments, give each gun a fair shake, and, you know, don't don't think you're weird if you come out with the 416 and you enjoy that one better. I, that would be no surprise to me at all. I think mainly the reason I do prefer the Ace-23 is that it just does creep a little closer to that M16A3 familiarity that I kind of was looking for. And I have a feeling that as I get further into Battlefield 4 and I get further you know, used to how the gun mechanics work, I may adopt a different favorite. In fact, I do have a feeling that there's going to be some doozy of assault rifles coming in the very near future with the uh, DLCs that are imminent. So there you go, guys. There are my thoughts on Ace-23. Let me know what you guys think. I see a lot of guys running around with this weapon, so obviously I know it's popular. Let me know what you think down in the bottom. Basically, the big debate is, do you, do you like it better or worse than the M416? That's basically where it's at. Uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Talk to you soon, guys. Take care.